in this fast track episode, over 50 commands for your stream in easy to follow steps. Lots of great functions included, like Champion of the Hill, commands for chat and visual interaction, emote train, emote welcome and visual lurk, with a website and videos to walk through setup. Also including lots of great visual commands like the be right back player and visual shoutouts. Hello and welcome to my fast track. Today I'll be covering how to upgrade your streamer bot installation with the many commands and visual redeems to increase interaction and fun for your viewers. Best of all, it's free and it takes very few actions to upgrade. All of this is made possible by the awesome streamer bot. This has proven itself to be the most versatile stream tool that you can use. It truly is the best way to unlock your creativity. The steps you go through today will update your existing configuration. If you're new to StreamerBot, I suggest you check out the first Fast Track video. If parts are not relevant in this, you can skip using timestamps in the video description. There's also a great companion website to complement this video that you can go back to reference in the future. You can find this at vrflad.com slash fasttrack slash upgrade.html. This is linked in the video description below. So let's get started. You need to install the plugin that will allow StreamerBot to connect and control it. There's two ways to install this extension. The first one is just to download the package from GitHub. The second is to use the Starscape Creator Studio to download this. It's worth really noting that 4.91 is the version to install. There is a later version, but this is not currently supported by StreamerBot and I believe it's still in development. So if you click on the link, so put it a new tab. The bottom page here, you'll see the Windows installer. This will then download. Opening this will take just a moment after you give it the permissions to install. It picks up your OBS location automatically and there you are done. Once you've installed the plugin, you can start OBS. You'll typically be prompted to configure the WebSocket server settings, but if not, you can access by Tools and WebSocket server settings. I'd recommend you set and enable authentication, but make this password something is unique but not important, something you won't reuse really because the setting for the password is stored in plain text in places. So I'm just going to put a simple password for now. I would suggest you do not have these options enabled here underneath. And then click on OK. Now we have the WebSockets server plugin installed and configured. To connect OBS, we go through the Broadcasters tab. Go to OBS, to the top pane here, we can add in an OBS connection. Give it a name, OBS. The port should be the same one that's in the, the configuration as before. Password, I use one, two, three, four. And it shows that it's clear here because it's stored in clear option there. You want to also retry and reconnect as well. Click on OK. We can then right click and connect. The first time you need to manually connect, subsequent times you open up the streamer bot, it's going to reconnect and not connect automatically. And we can see here, it's picked up the current scene that's in there. It's also worth noting in here, you can add events. So events that are triggered from OBS can also trigger an action as well. And now you're ready to set up the Fast Track package. Now on this web page, the Fast Track upgrade page, part three, you can either save the import code as a file, or I'd recommend just clicking the button to copy it 
to clipboard. Then within StreamerBot, you can use the new import button. Either paste in the string, or if you've downloaded the file, drag the file to this location. This is gonna show you a summary of what actions and commands are gonna be imported in the package. Now again, in the web page here, you have a list of which commands you can disable. If they're not in the list in here, then do not remove them, they are required. Some will have actions and commands to remove, some will just be actions. So once you've selected which options you want to import into the bot, click on the import. That's gonna put it all into the bot for you. We'll be able to see in here now, lots of commands being set up for us, lots of actions. The commands are going to be linked it's worth noting the commands do not have permission set, so you'll probably want to evaluate which commands you want to have things like moderator access, like the champion of the hill, you can modify them there. So that's the one thing that isn't included in this package. You'll also need to attach events to the actions, so the, the events that are available there. Again, back in the web page, I won't switch back to the web page to show you this time. But underneath the platforms, then Twitch and events, select the specific event from the web page, and then what you see in the events is you'll have the relevant one here. So followers, you've got a new follower. First words, we have welcome. It's worth noting if you have something already in the first words action you'll likely need to merge them both. I would suggest using this included welcome action and to either copy the sub actions from the old action or to alternatively in the welcome add a sub action of calling another action and to use your previous action that's set here. The fast track package for Streamerbot will actually enable you to create some scenes and sources in the OBS that it needs. So let's go over to OBS. This is a simple OBS with two scenes with no sources in them. Because we've connected to Twitch already and OBS, we can run setup. Now, if you're running OBS on a separate machine, you need to set up space and then the address of where OBS is. If it's on the same machine, just set up on its own is fine. Do refer to the part seven of the fast track process as the format to type this in. We're going to run this. I'm going to see it's going to take a little moment just to start up. Then it's going to create two scenes for us and we can see it's done that. So you've got the fast track BR. BRB scene, which has got a, this is sort of BRI back player. And we see this is just one source. Now this is a B right back source. So this is a video that plays back. We can want to position that, put BRI back, brand it as you want for your, your stream. This is a scene that's used on its own. Then you have an alerts scene. Now this is going to put the latest information at the top by default. It'll look at if you're uh, an affiliate partner or non-affiliate and put the relevant options at the top. So it won't put things like the latest cheer or latest subscription event, um, or in this case, it's a gift bomb. These will be blank by default, but as soon as the events happen, they will populate up there. So we can see it set up those scenes. We have a Mate Rain, We've got the alerts of pop-up notifications. We've got a video shout-out scene. This is one you want, might want to position somewhere. You've got the Ouija board. But the, the champion is full screen and the latest, the remote rain and the alerts are typically used as full screen, therefore they're locked. So the nature of this scene, this has all the visual elements that the fast track package uses. And all you need to do is for each of your scenes, add in a scene and set the alerts here. 
and we can see all those visual elements are now in this web page. So you need to go through each of your web pages and you'll probably want to do it as well on the Be Right Back scene is going through and adding the alerts in place. So this is what you need to do to set up the scenes and make sure that you put it in the right order as you want it to get the visual effects. Now with these scenes having elements that have sound in, you'll probably want to change the properties of them. So in each of these options that have sound, so it's the BRI back scene has got this, the visual shout out and the champion of the hill also have sounds. You want to go through and set the control audio via OBS. So it's in the bureau right back, the visual shout out. And the champion of the hill. They're the three scenes that have audio here. Then in the audio mixer dock, You can just pick the settings of any of them, it doesn't really make a difference. Set advanced audio settings, and then what you can do is you can pick these relevant ones. So, the first one we have that uses sound is champion. Use mantra only mute output, and so the next one we want to use that is the visual shout out and the bureau right back, which is not there. So what we need to do is we need to switch to the bureau right back scene. And then within that, we can set this one as well to monitor any mute day output. There we go. And so what that means is now you can balance the audio levels with your stream, with all these elements here for the, the visual shout out, the champion, the bureau right back. Now, the StreamerBot Fast Track package is pretty much set up at this point. We've got a few more required parts to do though. So the first thing is to go through the actions for your links. Either you can specify the message. Here you can see Discord is not a full link. Same with all the other links here for Discord, Hover, Instagram, merchandise. TikTok, Twitter, web page, and YouTube. Now you can disable these. You can see there's an enabled column. If you don't have those, right click here and disable those. I would actually suggest disabling via the commands option here. So you can see there's a section for link and you can disable the relevant actions that you do not want to configure. So you configure the action which does the work itself that says the message and change that. That's the only thing that is actually required here. And at this point you can actually go and use a bot. This next step, whilst optional, is highly recommended. And that's to configure the actions which are under the section of the channel point style rewards. Here we go, the hydrate stretch, but also the champion of the hill and ask Ouija. Now, if you're an affiliate, keeping these as they are is fine. You might want to look at the permissions in the commands, but if you have channel points, these work much better as channel point redeems. So we're gonna go through, we're gonna set up one of them and show what to do there. So under the platforms, Twitch and channel point rewards. And here we create the channel point reward, right click, add, give it a title. This doesn't matter so much because this is going to be added in by the action the first time it's run. Want to put in the prompt details. So start a free for all to get a new 
champion of the hill. It's worth while noting you can configure this and there's an action to do it and this last step, uh, step 10, will give you details of how to do that. But we'll keep it as the default for now. So, join after the fight has started with exclamation mark join. You, like any channel point rewards, you can limit the redemptions per stream or per user of a stream. The cooldown is going to be at least uh, 90 seconds because that's kind of the duration of the Champion of the Hill fight. So we're going to say 1800 here. Give it quite a cooldown. Then the action is going to be start fight. And we'll see, and we'll see that is here. We need to then go to the actions. And we've got set fight reward. And we, here we need to specify the reward we have, which is here. We need to select it even if it's picked the right reward by, by chance. Click on OK. That set up the channel point reward for Champion of the Hill. The Ouija board only needs a single step. So again, going to the platforms, channel point rewards, we can add, ask the Ouija board. Again, cost is fine. Select Ask Ouija here is the way to start this. Ask the Ouija board a question. Again, you'll probably want to do a call down. Something like a, maybe five minutes or something like that would be a relevant, um, relevant uh, option. However long you feel like. And that's two of the channel point rewards. You might want to repeat that with a hydrate and stretch as well, but we won't cover this on the video today. At this point, you should be fully set up. To customize further and to learn more about the functionality included in the Fast Track package, do check out this last section of the Fast Track Upgrade website. And now your box should be upgraded with the Fast Track package. If you find this helpful, please do like, subscribe, and check out my other videos on improving your stream. Do comment with any questions you have below, or catch me on stream to see the bot in action. Finally, thank you so many of you that enable me to create this content. Those supporting me, giving feedback, sharing kind words. Thank you, Nate, for making the bot an incredible studio bot community that helps share great content and to support each other. Please do check out these great creators, their details are in the Fast Track homepages.